Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Scorch Silver. Last episode we made our way to the top of Mount Tempest as Team Phoenix have returned. Led by Fawn, they managed to capture Jirachi, he escaped and went to do a very uh, difficult battle. But luckily we won and our brother's now gone to warn our dad that Team Phoenix are back and we're going to go chase after him. So we're going to head west from uh, Dark Hole City and we're going to go... I think we'll go first to Battle Tower just to unlock the area. I don't think I'll be doing it. I'm, I've never been a fan of Battle Towers. But after that, we'll go down south to Rogem City. Hopefully find Fawn, see what they're after. I'm assuming using Jirachi's wishes to do something evil. <laughs> then after that, hopefully it'll be time for the festival. So let's start making our way through. Uh, yo, how's it going? Are we heading to the Battle Tower? I am. How tough are you? Level 70. That's, that's fine, that's fine. Should still get a bit of experience from this. I think Tropkick should take you out easy, because lowering your attack, you're doing anything to us, and you're gonna full restore. Come on, man. Ah, oh, so annoying. It's fine. One more. There you go. Right, Gothitelle. We've got Shadow Ball on Glaceon. Not bad damage at all. Nice. And Aromatisse. Oh, that's easy. Poison Jab. I want to try and get our whole team to level 75. Although, the the really strong Pokemon we battled last episode was a was a Mega Blast, so it's level 78. So I think we should try and focus getting everyone level 80. Especially because at some point we're going to have to redo the League, and I think that's going to be incredibly difficult. There's so much to do right now. Got to finish the, the post story here, I want to go back to Johto, explore some areas, I want to go to Mount Silver. There's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. Let's just focus on doing the post game story first. Nice. Let's go. Amphrosia, I've really fallen behind a bit. I might put the XP share on it. Have we grow a few levels quicker. Alright, uh, let's go. Toxicroak, get you to 75. Hey, revive. Not that I need, I've got plenty of revives, plenty of potions, plenty of four restores. But that does remind me, once we get to a Pokemon, I probably should sell my nuggets. I've got lots of nuggets to sell. I think I've got a big pearl as well. And I could buy some. More full restores. I should get some more uh, repels. That'd be something I definitely need. Okay, that's annoying, but it's fine, I guess. Oh, that's... I mean, it depends on how much Break Break does. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, one more. You can Swords Dance all you like, as long as you don't attack me, it's all good. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just keep Break Breaking. Not really much we can do to a Fortress. Plus, with the rain up right now, Toxicroak's just done a great time with the dry skin. The dry skin recovery, the black sludge recovery. If we go for a few bulk ups, we'll be like unstoppable. Alright, I might have to get healed up in a second, but getting back is going to be a pain in the butt. Yo, the raindrops are like muffled whispers in my ears. They're speaking to me. Are they saying, you're going to lose? Because, uh, your team sucks. That weak armor, that's good. One more poison jab, finish you off. And Drifblim, let's go to Amphros. If ever get a chance to use Amphros and just hopefully get an easy, easy win, get some experience, I'm gonna take it. Delmise, uh, it's back in a Toxic Croak. But not only are the trainers around here pretty tough, they've also got quite a few Pokemon on their team as well. So like before, we could take out like. 10 trainers, no problem. But now taking out like one or two of them. Because they also heal up. We're just like, oh man, we've like low on PP. Need to go get healed up. And it's pretty tough. Wait, are you the, you're the ghost flying one, aren't you? So. That's fine. As long as, as, long as you're not the psychic one. Yeah, everything's fine. Easy, dude. Easy. Ooh, let's go and grab this. What we got? Zinc. Devil battle coming up. Yeah, that's fine. Glaceon Toxicroak can do this. And I'm hoping this episode we can find the Mega Stone for Amphros. If we can get that and start Mega Evolving, maybe some of these fights might be a little bit easier. And Amphros can just be kind of useful. Because right now it just... it doesn't do much. It might take out one or two Pokemon, but ultimately it's just going to end up dying. Alright, uh, Sucker Punch and Thunder Punch. And you're going to rest. Oh, you're so annoying, dude. Alright, I've got to get healed up after this. You stay asleep. I'll drop kick you. Oh, 
Glucose Annoying, but Poison Jab and Drop Kick Relic Amp. Nice. Yes, keep growing the levels. And last one, oh, that's super easy. Drop Kick, there we go. Alright, let me go get healed up. And I'll see you guys back here in a second. Alright, we're back, nice and healthy. Also went to the Pokemon and actually did sell the Nugget, the Big Pearl, while I remembered. And I bought some Repels, I bought some Revives, some more Full Restores, some Ultra Balls, just in case we find like a Legendary or something we want to, want to catch. Oh, also, in case you missed last episode, we hatched the egg we got from our dad, Silver. And it was a Entei. Not what I was expecting, but honestly, not mad about it. So we got a cool Entei in the box, we got a uh, Charmander, so... I mean, if we want to have like a very powerful team with some fire types, like get Mega Charizard X and Entei, then you should definitely think about grinding them up. But like I said, I like my team at the moment. I really like my team. Take you out, sweet. I'm gonna try and get Toxicroak and Galo, not Glaceon. I say Toxicroak to 80. Yo! Oh! So you've locked eyes with me? That was your first mistake! Really? I think it was the best decision I've made so far. Absolutely destroy you, Brick Break. So fetch, that's fine. Let's go for a poison jab. Not too bad. Oh, that's fine for sucker punch. We didn't finish you off. I mean, the poison will. Oh, that's annoying. Nice. That power gem really coming in clutch. Oh, look at all these berries. We're going to take all the berries and not plant anything. That old lady, like last episode, was like, oh, make sure you plant all the berries. You know, it's, it's good for Mother Nature. I'm like, nah, man, I'm a scumbag. I take all the berries, I ain't plant nothing. But you would think that all of this rain would help these berries grow, but I actually have to work to keep them dry. Uh, they won't grow if they're constantly being flooded with water. Oh, okay. The shame like plants just can't keep getting like a lot of water and just get really, real fat, get real big. More of it to eat. Oh, great. And, uh, how creamy. We have got Stone Edge and Extreme Speed. Rapidash. Oh, that's not the right Rapidash, but I mean, it's still fine. Nice. And last one's a Rebombi. Oh, it's getting deleted. <laughs> oh, can I? So fun to use. Right, so now we're on Route D, isn't it? E. So we're going to go to Battle Tower once we finish exploring some of the area around here. My Pidgeot used, used to fly me around back when it was still just a tiny Pidgey. That's how I know it would grow to be tough. Still feel bad just like thinking about like Pidgeys and like Zubats and all them very small flying type Pokemon flying people around. <laughs> Imagine a little Pidgey trying to carry me around. It's like, like I end up breaking his wings. Ooh, Pidgey on Megastone, nice. It's actually pretty cool if you got Pidgey up, but we do not. If there's another Megastone on this island, that'd be cool. Uh, let's hit you with that, and then we'll hit you with a superpower. Oh, Mega Glalie. Alright, that's, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, I need to get healed up bad. Okay, it's fine. Luckily just taking you out. Glalie, ooh, I wonder if, if, there's lots of islands around here. There must be like a Megastone on every island. So maybe, just maybe, we can find the, um, Ampharos Megastone. On one of these islands, that would be so clutch. Fingers crossed. Just make sure everyone's fully healed. And I'm going to put the XP share on it. Before I forget. Right, and Evil Spirit looms over you. Oh no. What does it say? What's it doing? Oh, that didn't do much. Alright, it's so got Glaceon. I mean, we can. Yeah, stay in. It's fine. Let's go, Glaceon. You're the best. Here's a song straight from my heart. Okay, what's the song? Oh, Electro-type. Maybe this could be Ampharos. Oh, it's going to be Manetric. 100% it's going to be Manetric. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, I wish it was Ampharos. Uh, it's not looking too good. But I guess we're going to get into a lot of fight before we get the Battle Tower. Metric Megastone. Come on, man, where's the Ampharos one when you need it? I know every move you're making this battle. Okay, it's gonna be a Psychic-type uh, Megastone. Medicham? 
Gardevoir, okay. Gardevoir Megastone. Ooh, that poison sucks, but Extreme Speed finish you off. Yeah. I'm gonna save the game as well, because it's been a while. But I am gonna explore every single island. Not because I want to fight everyone, because I want to get this Ampharos Megastone. I'm sure one of these surely has to have what I'm looking for. If not, then... Uh, rip. Look at this Ampharos. Why do you not want to give it a Megastone, man? Oh, Mega Gyarados. This is going to be a Mega Gyarados Stone. Oh, I'm a little bit worried. Oh, I'm a little bit worried we might lose here. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> oh, these fights are getting close. Maybe I should just make my way to um, Battle Tower now. Just to get... Yeah, there's, there's loads of islands here. Gonna get to Battle Tower so I can get healed up. And then we'll go back to the islands and hopefully... I'm not sure if you actually want to fight or not, but <laughs> I'm not I'm not sticking around to find out right now. Uh, beg your pardon, but are you Volti? I am. I'm Kaylee and I'm delighted to make your acquaintance. I've long been an admirer of yours. Ooh, okay. Hope you don't find this quest too much of a burden, but may I become your apprentice? Yeah, sure. I'm delighted. Don't wish to waste your time, so please advise me on this. Plan to take on Battle Tower Challenge soon. However, there are two levels. Which would be most suitable for me? Uh, level 50. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> really want that Charizard doll, but man, are they expensive. Uh, do you think our apprentice will get battle points for us? Because... If she does, that's kind of sick. If not, then... I mean, I guess maybe we'll end up fighting her at some point. But can I get healed up here? Uh, I won't tell. So I don't think I get healed up. I'm going to have to do it this way then, if this works. Because not always does this work. I'm just going to box everything. I'm not sure if you have to just like access the box and then go back out or place the Pokemon in then out. Shake it all about. <laughs> but we'll find out. So... Yeah, still missing one PP. So draw everything. And yeah, fully healed. Alright, cool. So, let's talk to everyone. As many times as I've tried, I still can't manage to get even two wins in a row. Never be able to face my dojo again. Unlucky, son. You really need a strategy before entering the battle tower. You're likely to lose if you go in unprepared. That's me. I'll just wing it. See how far I can get. If I feel up to it, but... Yeah, I've never really been a battle tower fan. Uh, let me just pop a repel. We'll go check around the sides, make sure there's nothing to find. And yeah, nothing around there. So let's go back to these islands. Fingers crossed. Please give me the Ampharos Megastone. Please, 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 please. Alright, so we got... Oh. Another island here. Another two islands. Alright. Uh, I can sense that I will win this battle. Never been more sure about anything in my life. Ooh, awkward. Oh, can I absolutely wreck you? Uh, gonna go into... Alligator. Crunch ya. R2, that's fine. It's ice. Oh no, wrong move. It's fine. Crunch. Uh, ice Fang, because I don't want to get killed with the Destiny Bond. And then Ice Fang. Ice Fang. You were so sure you were going to win. You were so sure and you ended up losing. That's embarrassing for you. Stop. So we've got to hope that one of these people we fight brings out an Amphros. And then we can start celebrating. Can really start celebrating. Oh man. It's not scary. Oh, do not be healing up, man. Oh, this Marwile is a pain in the butt. It's a pain in the butt, man. Kill it. We should get like a Mega Marwile for the team. They are scary good. Uh, yes, yeah, so we've got this dude next. This to me screams Steelix. If I had to guess. Leave a comment right now. What do you think this uh, Mega's going to be? I'll go in Steelix. 
I could also see a fighting type, so maybe Medicham, but I think I think going with Steelix is a safer bet. Alright, let's try. So these tiny islands aren't very good for hiking. Yeah, but they are great for mega stones. Powered on, okay, that's good. One more drop kick. Oh no, two more drop kicks. Never mind. Some of these Pokemon just don't want to die. Oh, it's a Tyranitar. I was so wrong. Mega Tyranitar. Okay. Let's hit with the Brick Break. Alright, let's pick that bad boy up. Alright, any more islands? There's got to be some more down south. So that was the first one we entered, right? Yes, yeah, so we want to go down here. Oh, there's another one. Hey, oh, what is that awful stench? Oh, yeah, sorry about that. A bit gassy, you know. It's been a long day. Very long day. How many Pokemon do you want to have, man? All right, this one's definitely going to be Medicham. Well, I'll stop, stop saying definitely, because last time it, <laughs> it definitely wasn't Steelix. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. Hey, Medicham, got it right. Although, this is actually really bad for us. We have three Pokemon that are weak to um, Medicham. Oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Gotta play it safe. If the max revive, that high jump kick's doing damage though. Dude, can you miss a high jump kick? Right, let's try this again. Hopefully you'll miss something. But this is really hard for us. Metacham's just gonna delete everyone, but that paralysis is gonna be nice. Get the shadow ball off. Nice, that's the only way we won. That Metacham was tough. Whew. Okay. Good news is if we lose, we uh, end up back uh, at the Battle Tower, so we can just go straight down south. So getting around is pretty easy. Got the support, back to Poison Jab. And then... Brick Brick! Woo. Hey, oh! My bugs are oh, a bug type Beedrill. It's like I'm finding every Mega Stone but the one I want. Oh, okay, okay. Let's go Sucker Punch, nice. Alright, Beedrill. Oh, Pinsir! Because it could have been Heracross as well. And I couldn't get that Stone Edge off, which sucks. Man, these fights are tough. These fights are way too tough. Oh, you look like an Electro-type trainer to me. I feel it, this is it. This is the one. I'm gonna finally get that Amphros Mega Stone. Make sure we are healed up first. Where's my full restores at? Got plenty of these to use. Alright, let's fight you. My decades of experience have never let me down before. And they won't now. Uh, yeah, about that. About that. About to let you down pretty bad. If this isn't the Amphrost dude, I'm going to be so upset. I'm so sure this has got to be it. He looks like a guitarist dude. Please be the Amphros. Oh, it's a fire dude. No. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. It's not going to be the Amphros. Camera up. Oh, man. I was so sure. That's so disappointing. I just hope you can do a little bit of damage so that Ice Beam can maybe finish you off. So weak. Oh, right. Let's get the camera up anymore. We've got to be getting close to uh, Rogem City. Make sure to miss any. So, yeah, battled you. This is Route D, so we're back here. Yeah, did all that. So we'll just keep going down and. I think we're at Rogem. Yeah, Rogem said no Amphros Megastone for us. But maybe we can, you know, find one on this island or something. Alright, definitely got to get healed up first. 
Like, hi -ya. You look like a fan of martial arts. You know, I'm some of a martial artist myself. <laughs> Don't believe me? I could teach you Pokemon a fighting type move to prove it. Uh, dynamic punch. No, I'm good. Just want to get healed up first. Put it go all the way around. Then we'll go explore the houses and after that, see if we can find Team Phoenix. They've been really overprotective of the shipyard lately. Wonder what changed? Ooh, I wonder too. You have an issue you might be able to help with. I have a long distance boyfriend in Johto who isn't answering my calls. Do you, you can help me figure out what's going on? Make it worth your while? Yeah, sure, why not? So, really great. He lives in the house in the middle of Olivine City. Okay, uh, let me write this down. So, uh, Olivine City Middle. Okay. Uh, thanks a lot for the help. Alright, I'll try and do that in a little bit. Uh, yo. I really want to go to the festival in Lazalan City, but my parents won't let me. This is so unfair. Unlucky kid. I'm gonna go and it's gonna be awesome. Unless we get don't get Jirachi back, then it's gonna kinda suck, I guess, but <laughs> you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? I can tell by the badges. You know my son really wanted to become a Pokemon trainer? Okay, and Son sucks. <laughs> right, well we go over here. Uh, have you heard of the trainer named Red? I have. Nobody really knows anything about him except that he is exceptionally powerful. He must spend all of his time training. So I wonder if Red's still on Mount Silver then. I was thinking if we could go to Mount Silver in this game. I mean, it's on the map. Um, I was thinking if we could go up there, maybe Gold will be training up there now. But maybe in this story, like, Gold lost and then Red's still up there just training because he's so awesome. But what's that like? Uh, huh. Sounds like fun. Surely uh, get out and explore more often. Yeah, you should. Oh, can't talk to you from behind. Uh, ah, to gaze upon the sparkling sea. It's like a medicine for the soul, wouldn't you agree? Tell me, child, do you like scary stories? Absolutely. In that case, I have a particularly scary story. Oh, it's getting darker. Several years ago, a young boy about your age moved to this island with his mother. He was having trouble making friends, so his mother bought him a stuffed Pokemon doll to cheer him up. I'm not some little kid. Stop treating me like a baby, the boy said, throwing the doll back at his mother and slamming his bedroom door shut. Later that night, the boy woke up with a sharp pain in his left arm. He shifted to lay on his other side when something caught his eye. Sitting on top of his antique dresser was the Pokemon doll. He went to throw it out, but noticed it had a pin stuck in its left arm. Without putting much thought into it, the boy threw the doll out into the hallway before going back to bed. Later that night, he woke up with an even worse pain in his right arm. He sprang out of bed to find the same doll back on his dresser with a pin stuck in its right arm this time. More shaken, the boy hastily threw the doll out of his bedroom window. While laying in bed, contemplating these strange events, the boy eventually fell back to sleep. After a few hours, the boy woke up, with excruciating pain in both his legs. He stumbled out of bed and immediately fell to the floor. Sitting right in front of him was a doll with a pin stuck in each leg. In a panicked state, the boy crawled into the kitchen, clutching the doll. He found the kitchen sink and stuffed the doll into the drain, or turned on the garbage disposal. Surely this would put an end to his nightmare, the boy thought. But when morning came, his mother called for him, and the boy didn't answer. After a few more tries, she went up to check on him. She opened the bedroom door to find the room empty. As she started to close the door, something caught her eye. There, sitting on the boy's dresser was a doll with a pin stuck in its head. The end. Hm. Don't seem to be uh, rattled too badly. Here, you can have this. Ooh, Bennett Megastone. And don't worry, it's just a story after all. <laughs> was it though? Was it really just a story? All right, uh, let's do, 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 do. go this way. It seems like a just a normal city. I don't think Team Phoenix are going to be here. But I'm still glad I came to check it out. But the cost of living is crazy high on this island. I love living here, but it definitely comes at a price. Uh, just my luck. Finally caught a Sinistee with a stamp of authenticity. And I'm flat broke. I need a chip pot to evolve my Sinistee, but they're way too expensive. Hey, if you happen to have a chipped pot, then I'll trade you for a Scizorite. Okay. They're super rare, and I don't think you'll find one anywhere else. Uh, I don't have one, but I'm, I'm good. Just glad it wasn't for the Ampharos Megastone, otherwise that would have been super sad. I don't know what they're good for though, uh, they just look like normal rocks to me. Okay, uh, hello. Meteorites uh, aren't just fancy rocks, they're gifts from outer space. Some even have proven to affect certain Pokemon in various ways. Oh, okay, I guess if I take Deoxys here, we can probably change its form. Alright, well, what else have we got? There's the shipyard. Uh, this used to be a great place to work. That is until new management showed up. Unless new management is Team Phoenix. 
just can't start stand working for these new managers. Oh yeah, there's so many hooded weirdos coming and going, and nobody will tell us uh, tell us workers what's going on. Right, so the new managers are definitely Team Phoenix. Ah, this job was easier when we didn't have so many shipping containers coming through. The higher ups won't even tell us what's in them. Uh, probably some illegal bad stuff. There's a lot to check out around here. Dead end. Anything down here? Sharpedo Megastone, okay. No, nothing down that one. Right, we're fully healed, right? Oh, Silver's there. Hey, oh. Voltsy, good timing. Shane told me you two battled some Team Phoenix grunt up on uh, Mount Tempest, so I did some exploring and found this shady fellow. Now, where were we? That's right. You're going to tell me why you're hanging around this shipping port. I'm not telling you to anything. Now get lost. <laughs> oh, big mistake. Come on, Voltsy. This has to be one of their bases. Let's check it out. All right, in we go. Uh, so it's going to be a hidden switch somewhere. Now, where did that grunt go? There must be more to this room than meets the eye. A secret switch, perhaps? Well, Team Phoenix do love their secret switches. Oh, and it's in the bin. Aha. That was easy to find. So good work, Faulty. The staircase must lead down to their base. Let's check it out. All right, let's go. So this definitely looks like a Team Phoenix base. They must be holding Jirachi here somewhere. Let's go. All right, let's go indeed. Hey, oh, you want to fight? So our profits have been uh, have really taken a hit since our critique base got shut down. So not sure what exactly happened there. Yeah, about that. <laughs> Not the kid they say defeated all the grunts on Mount Tempest, are you? No, 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 of course it's me. I defeat all you grunts and destroy your bases. This is what, your fourth, third base I'm destroying? No, fourth. Wait, no, uh, we def there was one in Ecritique. There was one in uh, Rage Resort. Got this one and there was another one somewhere else, right? Am I thinking of a different place? I can't remember. But I've definitely taken out a few of you. Alright, uh, Aqua Tail, nice. And then one more finish you off. Or not. Oh no, the poison! Oh, you're lucky, dude. That's Fire Fang. Uh, let's keep Fire Fang in. This is fine. Extreme Speed finish you off. I think I'm going to lead off with Arcanine for a bit. It's always fun using you. Ah, oh, sorry kid, who are you? I'm busy working here. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just gonna check the trash can in case there's like something in here. But it's empty. Alright, uh, yo. Yeah, I'm not supposed to let anyone go this way. I'll use force if I have to, okay. You can try, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> let's see how it works out for you. Spoiler alert, it's gonna go the same way as it's gone for every single one of your, uh, your comrades in this game. Not well. Not well at all. Shift tree. Yeah, we can stay in Poison Fang, yeah? Not Poison Fang, Poison Jab. Right, there's two teleport, well, three teleport switches to go through, so we need to find a code, I'm guessing. Because it was up there looking at a keypad. Oh! <gasps> Ampharos Megastone? Ah! Ampharos Megastone? Uh, you know, I really hate what the new management has done with this uh, shipyard. I feel bad for all these Pokemon that they're forcing us to smuggle. What's that? You're here to stop them? In that case, you need a passcode to get into the basement. I'm gonna write, again, I'm gonna write this down. Last time, I didn't have to, but. This is just in case. 571943. Okay. Amphros, give me your Megastone. Oh, uh, oh great, this kid again. So we got word about some intruders in the hideout. Hey all. Just good old me. Gonna stone at ya and brick break ya. Oh, not bad, not bad. If Tox Grove can get level 80 in this fight, that'd be sick. Uh, Stone Edge, Brick Break again. Nice! Our first level 80. I think it's our first level 80. I want to try and get everyone on our team 280, because that would just be... Oh, that would be fantastic. And I Poison Jab the wrong Pokemon, I meant to go for the Arcanine and Stone Edge the Slazzle, but I mean, it's, it's not a problem. Not a problem. Yeah, I think it's our first 80. Stone Edge, Power Gem, job done. Anything around here? Nope. I love how like every single time you see Pokemon outside, it's just like 
They all look like Pokemon. Sudowoodo just looks like a tree. <laughs> oh man. Oh, uh, hi. Hey, I remember you. Excuse me, who gave you permission to use our warp pads? Uh, Phil. Yeah, that guy. You know? Works in HR. I was like, yo, go take the warp pads. You can find some, uh, some grunts that want to get their butts whooped. And I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll definitely do that. Don't you worry. Ooh, I need to get healed up though. I think after this I'll leave and just heal up. Because we are very weak. Not only just like I can use my potions, I need to get some PP back as well. Oh no. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Is that the last one? Oh no. Weezing and Swallow. Okay, uh, I'm gonna stomp and Thunder Punch. Ooh, that's not good. I need to do something here, otherwise we're going to lose. Uh, I'm going to... Dragon Pulse Swallow. Can't hit the Weezing, because you're going for stupid Destiny Bond. Stop Destiny Bonding, man. It's super annoying. Alright. No more Destiny Bond. Bond again. Okay, in that case, bulk up and Dragon Pulse won't kill you. Nope. Explosion. Okay. <laughs> Woo! This is getting tough, man. Right, I think I can probably take out this dude with these two. Get the item, then we'll go get healed up. Bulk up. Bulk up. Bulk up. Bulk up. Bulk up. Bulk up. Poison jab. <laughs> Drapion, Brick Break! Yeah, I told you I got this. Max Revive, that's actually pretty good, but uh, then we'll get healed up and then we'll go speak to Silver and give him the passcode. Alright, we're back, nice and healthy, let's go and speak to Silver. I have the passcode. They obviously don't want anyone going through this door, so that's exactly where we'll go. Now, looks like we just need a passcode to open it. You figured out the passcode already? You're good. You, have, you uh, must have got that intelligence from your mother. I mean, all it is just speak to one dude, not that difficult, but great. Now let's go see what they have in store for us. Be kind of cool if we go, go for like a double battle with uh, Silver. Oh, there's Fawn. All right, Voltsy, are you ready for a battle? Yes. Uh, let me just save it just in case, because last time it went a bit uh, broken with the double battle with Shane. Let's do this. Assuming it is going to be a double battle, that is. Well, well, you've uncovered yet another one of our hideouts. I would say I'm surprised, but it's to be expected at this point. So we finally meet. Professor Fawn, I presume? I hear you're well acquainted with my son here. You could say that. I'm also well acquainted with your mother. In fact, I intended to free her along with the other Phoenix members being held prisoner. Tell me, do you know of Jirachi's ability to grant wishes? I've only heard rumours. It's said that Jirachi is able to grant up to three wishes during the week of the Millennium Comet. So then, you intend to use Jirachi's power to free my mother and your other Team Phoenix Fugs? Precisely. This should be a simple task for Jirachi. Now I'll defeat you two and make my wish. So pick your party members. Let's end this. Uh, right. I don't know what you're going to use. So I'm going to go for Alligator, Glaceon, Toxicroak. If me and Silver can go both for like Fralligators, I'll look kind of cool. You got your Fralligator there. Alright. Right on an Electro. That's a little bit so I can aqua tail the ride on. Thunderbolt, please don't kill me. Oh, that's off to an awful start. Absolutely awful start. Right, in that case, I am gonna bulk up. Your dragon dancing, okay. Let's hope this plays out well. Because I have to say, that could just easily take you out there. I'm gonna break, break the ride on. Okay, trying to set up, which is fine, but you're getting absolutely destroyed here, and this is not looking good. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm glad I saved it, because, yeah, I'm not winning this fight. <laughs> oh, that was bad. That was so bad. Right, so I'm going to go Serena first, then, because I can drop kick the Rhydon. I'm going to bring off for Alligator, and I'm going to go... Toxic Croak should be fine still. Although Glaceon would have been good for um, the Nidoking that came out. We'll see how it goes. 
Because Silver has got um, Alakazam. Right, so we will go dropkick the Brydon. Mega Salamence is nice. Dragon Dance gets stronger and please one shot it, one shot of it attacks down. That's not too bad damage and Okay, uh That's a little scary, I'll be honest. Gotta try to get that Weavile. If I can outspeed it, no! If I outspeed it, that would have been so clutch. Right, tentacruel, that's fine, that's fine. I'm gonna rapid spin electrode, please. I like as I'm hit tentacruel. Hit it with a psychic, don't come mine. Psychic, psychic, psychic. Ah, oh, that sucks. Alright, uh, I'm gonna stomp Nido King. Flinch it. Nice, nah, he's got the flinch! And you went dragon dance. That's fine. Critical hit. Nice. Go on, hit the, uh... No, he can hit me. Feraligator and Feraligator! And it's fine, I can superpower the Magnazone. Another Dragon Dance, that's... not great. Because if this Thunderbolt kills you, yep. That was a waste. And now it's just me. Oh, this is bad. Right, uh... Break, break, Magnazone. The knockoff's super annoying, but now I can do this. That dry skin, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, we got this, we got this. Thank you for uh, healing me up, appreciates it. And we win. <laughs> well, this outcome was unexpected. Really? The ex-champion and the new champion, you really think you can win? But even after all of my preparation, I was still no match for you two. Oh, what? Wait. <laughs> Can I have a wish? And it's gone. Well, Fawn, it looks like you have been utterly defeated. It's time you give up. I might be defeated, but I will never give up. A Phoenix never dies. Same goes with Team Phoenix. One day, we will return. You have plenty of time to think about it with your bodies in prison. Come on. So by the way, Volti, a gold told me he wanted to speak with you. He's still in uh, Lazalan City. The festival should be getting started now. I'll meet you there. Alright, sounds good. Festival time, woo! I have a feeling we're gonna probably have to fight gold. Well, that should be Team Phoenix well and truly defeated. Alright, uh, so let's get healed up. I need to go and grab Aerodactyl so I can fly back across. But I think it's probably a great place to end this part off. Next episode, we'll go to uh, Lazaland City, go and speak to uh, Gold, go and enjoy the festival, and then see what happens after that. Well, if like nothing happens with the uh, post-game story and we've finished it, then I know exactly what I want to do still. Do, do a little bit more exploring and so we can find in certain areas. But yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.